welcome back to my youtube channel so today is wednesday the 20th of march which means it is officially fall in south africa i am so so happy so i thought for today's video i would do like an ultimate fall vlog and let me know what other fall content you guys would like to see this month okay but first things first i'm going to be getting my nails done these are my nails right now i don't know if you can see that but they're just like my natural grown out nails and then this is the inspo picture i plan on showing the lady i don't know if you can see that but it's basically just red nails and then on like the little ring finger there's a star and originally i was gonna go with like a completely different design but then i saw these and i was like absolutely obsessed with them but yeah and i'm going with my sister's friend nicole aka kind of like my babysitter at this point to be honest so yeah we're gonna go get our nails done together and then i also think at some point we're gonna go get iced coffee Cry. Girl. Got our nails done. I got this red. I ended up not getting the little stalks. The lady said she couldn't do it. But now we have to go to McDonald's to get ice coffee. Hi, can I please get two caramel ice coffees? That's all, thank you. Thank yes. you so much. Oh. <laughs> Walking in the sun. Yes. I'm so happy. Hold on. Oh, that's good. Mm. It makes me happy. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, I am back home. Nicole just dropped me off because she has other stuff that she needs to get done. But the nails ended up taking so much longer than I was expecting. But our appointment was for 9.30 and we ended up only leaving at 12.30. I'm very happy with how they came out. They're really cute. And so is Nicole's. But yeah, and then as you guys saw, we got iced coffee. I must say, I personally do not like McDonald's. I think their food low -key sucks. But they make flurries and then their iced coffees hit so hard. Okay, I put my hair into a claw clip in the hopes that I wouldn't look as oily but it still looks pretty atrocious so please ignore but next i'm going to be decorating my room i would have actually loved to do like a cute little fall shopping vlog but for some reason south africa or at least the part of south africa that i live in doesn't really celebrate seasons except for like summer and then obviously holidays the shops and stuff just never get like full themed candles or full themed drinks i don't know what that's about but that meant i couldn't really go shopping and buy a bunch of cute fall stuff in my room i did get two things i didn't really vlog that much though because i felt like it wasn't interesting but first i just got this mug this isn't for my room obviously but it's still kind of full themed it just says drink as much coffee as the gilmore girls but it's really cute i'm very happy i bought it and then the one item that is actually for my room is this blanket which i feel like this is like it's not specifically fall themed but it is like it kind of matches the vibe i don't know but i've been needing like a blanket for my bed for a while now i just wanted to wait until like the weather started getting colder because during summer you will not be needing one of these and then there's just a couple of other stuff i'm going to be changing up about my room and while i do that i'm going to listen to some music i made a full playlist last night and i'm absolutely obsessed so yeah i'm gonna listen to some music and decorate my room I'm finished setting up my room. I'll give you like a quick overview. I don't want to do like a full tour because I do plan on doing a room tour soon. But first of all, I did my bed. Basically, I just changed the summer duvet into a winter duvet. So it's like a lot squishier and thicker. And then I put the blanket that I got over my bed. And then at first, I was only going to add the squirrel squishmallow because I felt like it was more like fall themed. But then I also ended up just leaving the unicorn there because otherwise it was just way too much brown in my room. Because first of all, the tiles on my floor are already brown. Then we have the new blanket we have the squishmallow my floating shelves my desk the frame of my mirror and it was just getting like a little bit too much so i just decided to leave the squishmallow there and then over here i used to have like a huge portable aircon here because during the summer it gets extremely hot in my room but since the weather is starting to cool down a bit i decided to take it out and it's making my room low-key look kind of empty without it but at some point i definitely want to put one of those like book cart thingies over here and to be honest that's all i really did with my room <laughs> it's not that different than you but it still feels kind of like cozier oh and then i also just switched all my t-shirts from over here to there because these are like easier to reach i'm probably going to be wearing these more and then i also just moved my tank tops from the top drawer to the bottom and then swapped it with all of my like sweaters and stuff 
So yeah, it's not like a really big change, but I don't know, I still really like it. But right now, I'm just gonna do a bit of editing and then I'll see you guys a little bit later. Okay, so it has been quite a bit of time since the last time I filmed, but as you guys saw, I took a shower, got into some healthy PJs, and right now I'm going to start baking some cookies while I answer questions that you guys asked me. I saw this video on my feed the other day of snickerdoodle cookies or something like that, and I've been looking for kind of like a full cookie recipe for a while now because I feel like most of them have pumpkin in, and I'm personally not a fan of pumpkin. So when this came up on my feed page, I was very, very happy. So yeah, I'm gonna bake a bit and then answer some questions. Okay, so the first question is actually from Olive and it's where do you want to be when you grow up i'm assuming he means like where i want to like live when i grow up but honestly i'm not really sure yet to be honest for a really big part of my childhood i thought that i would stay in like my hometown and when i move out one day i definitely will stay here for just like a little bit but i definitely do not want to live here the rest of my life but i probably go live in like cape town or something because <laughs> i definitely do want to stay in south africa like close to family and stuff but i also kind of want to live in like a bigger city and somewhere close to the beach so yeah probably cape town <laughs> oh my gosh the next this one is actually from my dad's account and he was like tea please <laughs> okay but the next question is from one of my friends as well mia how many subscribers do you have and what's your goal at the time of filming this video i think i have like 680 something and my goal honestly as far as i can get <laughs> but right now my goal is 700 subscribers but like my more long-term goal is at least like 100k which is a lot i know but i really want to do this one day when i grow up so i feel like 100k is like fairly reasonable okay so the next question is what is your favorite thing about south africa honestly i saw this comment earlier today already and the whole day i've been trying to think of an answer and i genuinely don't have a good one which is kind of weird because i live here but like there's stuff that's definitely special to me about south africa but it's really hard to think of like a favorite or something that really stands out to me i feel like most people that live here would say the food but not gonna lie a lot of south african food i am not a fan of Ooh, i have a good answer probably the sunsets during the summertime and i know in other countries it probably looks similar but i don't know the sunsets during summer just hit difference Oh, whoopsie daisy. Okay, but the dough has to sit in the fridge for at least like 30 minutes, I believe. So I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. Okay, so the dough has been sitting in the fridge for around 30 minutes. And basically what you do now is you scoop up the dough and then roll it around in this sugar mixed with cinnamon. And then you put it in the oven for eight to 10 minutes, I believe. Okay, next question. Favorite YouTubers? I feel like people aren't gonna believe me when I say this, but recently I haven't been watching that much YouTube or at least like long form YouTube. Like I've been scrolling through shorts a lot which has become kind of a problem but other than that i haven't been watching a lot of youtube but my favorite youtubers honestly it changes quite a bit depending on my mood because like as you know i have two channels my vlogs channel and my main channel and they're both also on separate accounts so for my vlog channel all my subscriptions are just like vlog channels and like lifestyle contents and then my main channel has like all my other subscriptions so like comedy gaming you know that type of stuff and the thing is i rarely ever go onto that account so I rarely ever see like new videos from people that I've subscribed to so most of the time I'm mainly just watching vlogs but my favorites are definitely Nicole Leno oh and then Jack Septikai oh my gosh I feel like I'm so overly dramatic when I say this but I genuinely don't think I would still be here if it weren't for his videos <laughs> because literally his videos started appearing on my recommended like literally at the most perfect time and that was like two to three years ago i believe so yeah i've been watching him for a while now and he's definitely one of my favorite youtubers honestly those are some of the only people i watch <laughs> oh and also Haley fam i haven't been watching her recently a lot though because i've been like kind of busy with youtube and stuff recently and the second i start to get busy reading is the first thing to go but yeah it's just really difficult for me because when i know i have like editing or filming to do it's very hard for me to concentrate on my book i don't know why because like with anything else it's not a problem it's actually just with reading so yeah i literally have to have like no filming or editing thing to do before i can sit down and actually enjoy reading which in the past like two weeks or so i've been editing the whole time so i just didn't get time for reading but as of right now i'm actually in the process of reading five different books 
which is kind of insane. But the first two are It and Coraline. Coraline I started over a year ago and don't get me wrong, it's not terrible and I'm definitely not gonna DNF it, but it's because I've already watched the movie and weirdly enough, the movie has like more substance than the book, which I feel like usually it's the other way around. And I don't know, I just wasn't very invested in the book and at some point I'll probably finish it, but technically I have been reading it for an entire year. <laughs> and then It, I started reading I think around the time that I got the book and I don't know if you've seen the It book before but it is really really thick and the writing is really really small so that's a book I do not plan on finishing anytime soon and then I'm also in the process of reading the Shasmi series and right now I'm on Restore Me but I think I was like 70 pages in when my mental health started getting bad again and I just wasn't really in the mood for that type of book so I started reading The Do-Over by Len Painter because I recently read Better Than the Movies by Len Painter and it is one of my new favorite books so I started reading The Do-Over and at first I was like flying through it but then when I came back from my break on YouTube I just once again didn't really get time but then a while ago we had a couple of days I think like three or four days where it was just like consistently raining and cloudy and cold so I decided to start reading Twilight because I recently got the whole book set for 200 grand so one dollar is around like 15 to 20 rand and the average book costs around like 250 to 300 rand so getting an entire book series for 200 rand is a good bargain i did get them secondhand though so they are a little bit damaged but but honestly i'm not complaining <laughs> so yeah i started reading twilight and i'm definitely not gonna like consistently read it like i'm only gonna read it when the weather starts to get cold so it is probably gonna take me a while to finish oh my gosh look how disgusting my hands look Okay, so these are my little cookie balls. <laughs> Not gonna lie, they look, they look like meatballs covered in breadcrumbs. <laughs> look at that, they look interesting. <laughs> okay, but I'm quickly gonna go put them in the oven and then I'll see you guys afterwards. Okay, hey guys. Where did I put my phone? So it's currently 8.37 and I ended up leaving the cookies in a lot longer than I was supposed to because I did not read the recipe properly and the lady specifically said they're supposed to be soft and chewy and I was like constantly waiting for them to get the consistency of regular cookies like hard and you know so i left them in a lot longer than they're supposed to be in but i mean i think they still look pretty good okay let's do a quick taste test okay this is actually like 10 times better than i thought it was going to be like i didn't think it was going to be bad or anything but i genuinely think this is my new favorite cookie recipe because it's like really crunchy but at the same time really soft and chewy and it's nice because it's sweet but it also has that hint of cinnamon i don't know i would highly recommend this for the fall time but right now as you can see i'm snuggled up in bed with my cookies and my milk in my little gilmore girls mug and right now i'm going to watch a little bit of gilmore girls this is i think my third time re-watching it and i actually started watching it like a good like three weeks ago so right now i'm already on season two so yeah i'm just gonna lie here eat my cookies watch some gilmore girls and relax for the rest of the night <laughs> so i literally haven't even watched a full episode of gilmore girls and i can already feel my eyes like you know so i think this is where i'm going to end today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please like comment share and subscribe comment the full leaf emoji if you stayed all the way to the end and let me know in the comments if there are any other full videos you guys would like to see this year and i'll see you guys in my next video